After making a historic landing near the South Pole of the Moon, the Indian Space Research Organization has its eyes set on the Moon again. It is now preparing for Chandrayaan 4. The ISRO chairman, Mr. S. Somnath, recently told the media that the space agency wants to go to the Moon again, and this time to collect the lunar soil samples and bring them back to Earth for further studies. So far, only three countries in the world have achieved that feat, the United States of America, the Soviet Union, and of course, China. But this will be a challenging task, and Mr. Somnath says that it will be conducted in two phases and will involve the use of two rockets, one GSLV Mark III and in the second phase PSLV. Now this is likely to take another four to five years. But before that, ISRO also has Gaganyaan, which is set for launch in 2025. Meanwhile, a lot is happening on the other side with several private uh, space tech startups preparing for their crucial test. Now, after the first ever launch of a private rocket last year in uh, November 2022, that was Vikram S by Hyderabad-based startup Skyroot Aerospace, it is now time for another startup, which is Chennai-based startup Agnikul Cosmos. Incubated at IIT Madras, the startup is now gearing up to test fire its single-stage rocket, which is Agniband Sorted. Uh, from uh, Sri Harikota's first private launch pad, which is also designed and operated by the same team of space entrepreneurs from this startup. Moin SPM, who is the co-founder of this startup, uh, told News 18 that they have been given a launch window from March 22nd to March 28. Now, unlike other sounding uh, rockets launched from the guide rails, this single stage rocket, uh, Agniban Sorted, will lift off vertically from the launch pad, do a pitch over maneuver, which will turn its path towards the ground and eventually splash down into the Bay of Bengal after a roughly three minute long flight. The entire flight sequence will be monitored by the Agnikul team from the Mission Control Center about four kilometers away from this launch pad in Sri Harikota. Uh, ISRO will provide the telemetry, telecommand and the tracking support to the entire team. Now, this would be a controlled suborbital flight. Another unique factor in this mission is that it involves the use of single-piece 3D printed engines that the Agnikul team has indigenously manufactured and got it patented. Unlike the other liquid-based engines, which have multiple parts and need to be assembled, this entire single piece engine can be manufactured as one component. Now, once the tech uh, demonstration is successful, the team of budding space entrepreneurs will gear up for their first orbital flight in the, new, in the near future. Now, over 100 space uh, tech startups have mushroomed across India since the government opened the space sector for private participation. So here we are looking forward to this upcoming launch from uh, the Chennai-based startup, which is likely to happen during the launch window from March 22nd to March 28th.